What's up guys, Zach here, um, and today we've got a video that I've actually wanted to make for a while and um, haven't gotten the chance to, but uh, we'll get into that in a second. Let's get right into it. Okay, so you're probably wondering what I meant by that, and um, today we're going to be opening this. Now, if you don't know what this is, uh, it's called a tuner crate. It's made by uh, Smurfin WRX. He's another uh, YouTuber. He's also the owner of uh, Primal Driven, if you've heard of them. And uh, he just started this subscription service called Tuner Crate, just like you could subscribe to... Uh, the one that comes to mind is like Dollar Shave Club. Basically, you pay a monthly fee, or like uh, my editing software, Adobe Creative Cloud, uh, the suite. I pay monthly, and uh, I get to use the service over and over again. So this is set up where every month that you do it, uh, they'll send you a new one. So this is the premium crate. Uh, I don't remember what month it's from because it's been a while since I ordered it. And that's one of the gripes I have, actually. That's uh, the, one of the biggest problems with this. Before I get started into any of this, the reason I bought this in the first place was because uh, this one's actually the one that's sponsored by Hunting Co., which is TJ Hunt's uh, company. And so I wanted to uh, support him because he's one of my favorite YouTubers. So I decided I would go ahead and purchase the premium crate supported by, or uh, sponsored by Hunting Co. So that's what I did. Now, what happened is it was during the time when we were moving. So my original address that I put down was our old house. So when I went in and changed it, which was before my order had even been processed, I changed it to the new address. Everything looked fine on paper, right? Well, I got the shipping confirmation, and at first I was a little confused because it said it was shipping from Ontario. I later found out that the city that the company is based in, in California, is actually called Ontario as well. So that's what that was for. And then um, uh, afterwards, uh, it said it had been shipped and I had not received it. And when I went in and looked at the shipping... Um, like under the shipping confirmation to see like how far away it was from me and stuff like that, it had the wrong uh, zip code down. Which, so obviously, even if I had the rest of my address right, if the zip code was wrong, there's no way it was sent to me. And I went in and double checked on their website and everything that I did in fact put everything correctly. So, I attempted to contact the company, uh, which is quite difficult. And there's no phone number to call or anything like that. There's one email and that's it. And to me, that's just ridiculous. In this day and age, you should be able to call a company, get support, especially one with this big of a following coming from uh, Mike's channel. And that just seemed a bit, a bit wild to me. But anyways, I emailed them. I got an automated response saying my email had been received. And then maybe two weeks later, I got a response. Well, probably later than that. It was more like a month later, and it was after I had sent about two, three more emails, commented on one of Mike's videos, sent them a personal message on t Instagram, tweeted at them a couple times, no response anywhere, couldn't get any support, and at this point it had been over a month since I had ordered the crate. So you can see why I was a little bit upset about this. And then after I emailed them, they finally responded a month later after all of this, me trying to contact them and everything. Uh, but of course, my money was processed immediately. So this whole time they had already charged me and they still charged me that I haven't gotten a refund or anything, which is fine because I finally got what I wanted. But it was a little bit ridiculous how crazy and long it took to even reach them and get support. So um, that was that was just awful. And I really... I really wanted to have a good experience with this company because I really wanted to be able to suggest them. And, I mean, if you're into the whole, like, subscription thing, the only thing I subscribe to is um, free channels on YouTube and my editing software, which I need. So, like, I'm not a big subscription guy in the first place. And so, for me, this was kind of uh, out of my territory, I suppose. I like to buy things and then just have them. And because of that, um, I will not be continuing with Tuner Crate. I canceled after this one took so long, and I won't be won't be buying any more unless there's any any other special kind of things I want to do. I mostly did this to support TJ, who I follow much more avidly than I follow uh, Smurf and WRX. Sorry, Mike, but um, let's go ahead and pop this baby open and see what we got. So 
So first off, we got this uh, little postcard of Miley there, old Miley, before she was uh, sparkling red. That's pretty nice. Got, oh, what's this? Another little Hunting Coast sticker, Twerk at Miley. Um, we got a microfiber towel. Seems to be caught on this lanyard. That's microfiber towel, can never have enough of those. We got a Hunting Co. and Tuner Crate collab um, lanyard. Is nice. I'm not a red guy. I probably won't be replacing my Red Bull one, but I can probably use that for something, I'm sure. So then we got a shirt. So you input your shirt size uh, into there. Uh, they got it right, at least. So we got this one here. Looks pretty cool, I think. Uh, it's got the brake assembly and the cams and Miley, um, old Miley before she was red, obviously. And oddly enough, that's the one thing TJ needs to upgrade the most is he got to get those brakes, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's move to the next one. This one's red. Like I said, I'm not really a red guy, but uh, you never know. Looks pretty cool. Anything on the back? Nope. The white one didn't have anything on the back either. And here's the blue one. This is the one that I'll probably end up wearing the most. Uh, like I said, blue is my favorite color. So I like the little uh, tuner hunt thing. It's kind of a little combination of, you know, hunting co and tuner crate. Again, with the tuner hunt on the back, 28, which is uh, TJ Hunt's favorite number. We got Miley again there, looking a lot like this shirt that I'm wearing, the Financial Mistake one. I like it. Again, I'll probably be using this the most out of anything in this crate. Um, got a little Miley sticker. That's pretty cool. Air freshener. It's the same thing as the uh, with the same logo on it as the sticker. That's that's pretty sweet. And then a little tuner crate sticker, which. Pretty cool. I mean, I'm like I said, I'm not going to continue with them, so um, probably won't be promoting them too much. But when they say you can't, then you have to. T.J. Hunt. That's a pretty cool quote. I didn't I didn't actually know that was a quote from him, but I like it. Either way, the box is pretty cheap. It just says Tuner Crate on the top. Overall. Um, was it worth the $40 uh, for three t-shirts that are pretty high quality and normally would probably be like 15 bucks a piece? I'd say it's probably worth it and the stickers and stuff are cool. Do you get a ridiculous amount for your $40? Not really. Um, am I super thrilled on it uh, since it took over a month after I was supposed to get it to actually get it. Not really. I'm thrilled on the products and stuff, just not, not very hyped on the company. And Primal Driven is, I'm sure, a great company. Mike's a great guy. I love watching his videos when I do end up watching them. And um, I was really hoping that Tuner Crate was going to work out. But I think, as far as, as far as I can see, it's just they don't have the organization. And I'm sure they'll get better. I'm sure they'll get it down. But, I mean, just the biggest thing for me is what company doesn't have a phone number to call? Like, what that just doesn't make any sense to me. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll actually be gone for a little bit. I'm going um, up north, back to where I came from before I moved to Texas. Gonna do a graduation party, and uh, on the way back down, I'm gonna have to get some uh, college orientation stuff out of the way. Uh, this is actually gonna be coming out when I'm gone. Uh, I will be, hopefully, making some videos, probably wakeboarding related. Um, throughout my trip probably not any car stuff going to be going on but uh we'll get you some wakeboarding videos because i tried to make one a little bit ago and didn't ever get the it didn't work out so i'm gonna try and uh, try and get some wakeboarding videos for you anyways